Why, hello and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your host and guide, Zold Iron Shield, and this is a Lotro adventure. And as I promised you guys, we're continuing on our Lotro adventure, which is, again, this playlist is pretty much whatever I want to do. But occasionally we do voiceovers on this playlist like we do on my Lotro tale, right? But I get to do it on different characters, usually play on my main character here, Zolan Iron Shield. Um, we will now be going through all of the, the new expansion BTS before the shadow with this part of my playlist. Again, this playlist kind of bounces around this Lotro adventure, but my Lotro tale I didn't want to, I didn't want to take away from the main story plot where it was my character in that, because that one's kind of like a storytelling plot, right? I didn't want to come back. So what we're gonna do is, as you've seen in my live streams, which you can again if you want to go watch those. Um, I've already gone through a lot of the new area, right? We've, we're almost done with it at the time of me making this video. But now I'm going to go back through, as I promised, and I'm going to voice everything over on this playlist, the adventure playlist, doing all the quests, all right? So we'll do it fun. I'll be as entertaining as I can be. And uh, we'll do voices as we go through this. And I won't be doing this little spiel opening every time in a Lotro adventure. Just this is kind of a marking spot in the series. Starting the Before the Shadow expansion. Here we go, my friends. Let's have some fun. So, when you first get it, when you first make a new character in the new Before the Shadows, you can watch my guides on how you select that. Um, you start right here in front of Moss Ward, all right? The new town. Beautiful little spot. Gorgeous. Again, I will record these even though they'll only be about 20 minutes each, like my these players normally are. I will record them in high definition for you to see the new areas. But let's just get right into it and start voicing stuff over. So originally you'd start here and there'd be a little intro, but we're not doing the intro. So we're just going to pretend like we just joined and let's talk to Bevan here. Hello Bevan, I'm Zolid Iron Shield. I know this area is for level 5s and 2s, but I'm level 140. I'm here to assist you. I've heard there are many uses to which unassuming objects might be put. I heard there are many uses to which unassuming objects might be put to use. And one of these seemingly ordinary items is the Great Supply just outside of Mossward. I speak of the Graben that trouble the hills just to the north, Zolan. If you defeat some of the winged pests and bring me their feathers, no doubt not that you will marvel at the wide variety of potential uses those feathers might be put. It will do that the town some good to have fewer of the Craven hassling of travelers along the Old South Road. Some folk whisper that the birds spy for the orcs and other evil creatures, but I do not have any proof of that. Alright. Again, this whole Before the Shadow expansion takes place. We're kind of going backwards. There's a cool shadow effect on my character's face. Um, it's going backwards in the storytelling. Okay, so Lotro at the time of level 140, this is real quick for you people who maybe are new watching this class. Okay, I know most of my subscribers know this. When uh the before the shadow is two new areas. It is Swan Fleet where Mossward is, and then the little bit higher level area is Cardolan, which is one of the ruined kingdoms of Arnor when it's split into three kingdoms. Side note. Um but Lotro is kind of past the Return of the King book, okay? Lotro started before the Fellowship, went through the Fellow... You kind of, like, sideline follow the Fellowship book, Two Towers, and Return of the King, okay? That's what you kind of follow through. And now we're, like, exploring at 140, like, the history of the Dwarves, and we'll see where they go to after this, where we're kind of helping the Dwarves retake their homeland of Gundabad, and it's kind of all lore from Lotro, right? They try to stay really close to what Tolkien probably would have said if, it's ma if they make it up. Um, they're very, very, very loyal to Tolkien. And that's why I greatly like this game. Okay. Okay. It, yeah. So, um, let's move on and do some more storytelling. But that's where we are. So, basically, my character, technically, I've gone back in time with Zolan. And I'm helping. Uh, this is before the Fellowship book. Okay. Or, technically, mm, it's within the Fellowship book. The Fellowship book actually has lots of gaps of time that people don't realize from watching the movie. Um, like several years of gaps here and there. Like, for example, when Gandalf goes to get the ring, uh, to, to make sure it's the one ring that Frodo has at Bag End, he's gone for like two years. In the movies, he's back, and it seems like it's only been like a month, right? So, just little side notes. I think it's two years. It might be a little less than that, but anyway, let's go through the town here. I can see all the quests up here, even though they're all gray for my level, but we're gonna go through them slowly. Let's help out Mr. Um,. Negseri here. Again, this will still be an entertaining, fun playlist video, right? But when I'm not doing a stream, I can focus very much on the viewer of doing storytelling and voiceovers a lot easier than I when I would 
ask answer questions for you guys which that's why i like to try to leave my streams to be i can actually interact with people more right that's the whole goal right to be able to have fun with you guys in that way so but this playlist we're gonna do voiceovers here we go hi hi well met adventurer on behalf of the people of gongarad i thank you for all that you have done for our new neighbors here in Mossward. I wish we had been able to fight alongside them, but we weren't aware of the attack until it was repelled. Still, we will be sure to help them rebuild. By the way, side note, um, the new intro, if you do a brand new character in Mossward, there's a little intro and they were attacked by Urukai with bearing the white hand of Saruman, but they don't know what the white hand is for. We kind of find that out during this, okay? You've never ex never heard of the Langaran, you say? Well, I would expect not, as we only recently built it. As such, if you have settled your matters in Mossward... We are all Devotiad in these all, lands. I want to hear his voice again. We are all Devotiad in these lands. As such, if you have settled your matters in Mossward, I would invite you to visit us north of here, along the Wadewater. We have... We had to leave much behind when we left Dunland, and winter approaches quickly. Speak to our leader, Talfurian. I'm sure he'll have plenty of work for an adventurer. And by the way, we're adventurers in this area of the world, okay? Cool! Alright. I'm really excited to get this going with the adventure playlist and doing voiceovers for all these quests. Alright. The question is getting it right the first time. But it is kind of fun to do it multiple times in different videos sometimes. Hello there, ma'am. Could I speak with you a moment? Could I speak with you a moment? Hmm. Excuse me. Could I bother you to help me with some deliveries? More of us are volunteering to shifts upon the watchtowers. The new folk forgot to pack a lunch. Would you mind bringing these sandwiches and, and canteens to him members on watch? Uh, of course. We'd be happy to help. All right, so she gave us some stuff to bring to people. All right. All right, there is a quest in here, I believe, with the dwarf. So let's walk in the blacksmith. I love the new music, too. I'm gonna, I'm kind of turned up the music a little for this video because I want you guys to be able to kind of hear the background music without it getting too loud. But I think that's a good balance. Our need is dire. Our need is dire. All right, this is basically a quest. I talked about this in the stream. In one of our live streams, if you want to go back and look. Um, this is basically helping you get a steed and the riding characteristic. And if you're not a Lotro, it explains how to get it through the Lotro store, which is right down here. This little button, right? When you click it, it'll pop up. By the way, a little side note, if you're a Steam user, uh, it will open the actual internet page and go over the game. If you are a, if you had downloaded the Lotro client from Lotro.com, you click this and the little box will open an in-thing game which is a little more convenient. So I prefer to use the one from Lotro.com, but a lot of people love Steam. I love Steam, so I understand. It's nice that they have it on there at all, right? Have you a moment? Have you a moment? Well, excellent news. Accept this mount. It will carry you to the battle, at to and from battle, but it is not fit for fighting. All right, thank you. So sweet. I don't need this because I already know how to ride. So I'm gonna drag and destroy that, but I do want the horse. Because, I mean, it's a collection thing. A little extra steed. Yes, please. It's not the steed I'll use, but still. You know what the hardest thing about these videos is? Um, if you drink something or something and you get, like, a little hiccup when you're trying to do a voiceover, you're like, you really don't want that recorded in the video. And I really also don't want to go and edit out two seconds. <laughs> right? So, <coughs> excuse me. Whoa. There we go. Example. Uh, and point. Hello, sir. How can I help you today? Have you been to the Sturvales? I once was a traveler, but I met my wife here and chose family. I never made it out that far. I've heard fascinating tales from my friend of a floating village overlooking the river. I would have loved to witness this place. If you'd like to see it for yourself, you can talk to my friend. Um, Liri Grood. You'll find her southeast of here, past the Howling Stones, in a town called Glegger. Alright. Sure. Uh, we're gonna bring these quests 
I believe these are the people that need lunch up here. Hello, sir. Oh, ma'am. I guess she's taking watch. Here you go. Greetings, friend. Greetings, friend. Ooh, lunch. That's wonderful. Hmm. My tummy was beginning to growl like an angry cat. I volunteered to take the noon um, to sundown shift taking. Thinking. Oh, well. I'll just have to a big lunch and look forward to a large supper. I want to need a snack. But let me tell you. Standing around for hours with nothing to look at, but the grass has a strange way of building up an appetite. Oh, but don't let me keep you with my, my um, blabbering. Off you go now. Tell the baker she's lovely and thoughtful. Thanks to both of you. Of course, ma'am. All right, moving on. All right, we have some goats here. Oh, we have another another nice lady here uh, who's taking watch. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? Mutton? Ooh, I love mutton. Mutton, hmm, mm, like a button. Oh, you're still here. I'm like walking away like... <laughs> are you okay? You uh, didn't hear me singing a song about mutton, did you? I'm not used to uh, standing around here doing nothing all day. I sing about little things. I see to keep myself occupied. Dot, dot, dot. Please don't tell anyone. Uh, don't worry. Your, your secret's safe with us. Good day. Alright, that's a weird one. Moving on. <clears throat> Are all humans like that? <laughs> Hello, sir. By the way, the new area, great storytelling. I like how they have little, like, interactions. So I will do my best to bring that out in my voiceovers. Hello there. Hello there. Guion takes a long swig from the canteen before speaking. Oh, that's his name. Excuse me. I packed salted pork for food. Salted pork. I forgot to bring anything to drink, and it wouldn't do for me to leave my spot to fetch something. Thanks for the water, friend. And pass my thanks to the baker, too. Of course. Have a good day. What can I do for you? Mmm, lunch delivery. Oh, for the new folk who forgot to bring food and drink, well, an experienced watcher like myself remembered to bring her own. Linian gives you a wink, and pa uh, Linian gives you a wink and pats a satchel at her hip. Unless, is that chicken, mushroom, and onion? With rosemary? Linian opens her satchel. Give it here, friend. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. All right, um... Clyde. Would you do something for me? Would you do something for me? Look there, friend. The ruins to the east have long been home to a pack of wolves. They have always been content to leave us alone, and we were all too happy to return the favor. Something seems to have upset them, this unspoken pact. The wolves have grown aggressive. I dare to adventure close. To the ruins they and, and eyed a great beast known as a warg among their numbers. I didn't think it to be a real at first. Wargs are monsters we tell the children about to get them to behave. Hmm. We have our hands full with rebuilding Moss Ward and recovering from the attack. We lack the strength to fight this beast. If you were to slay the warg, you would both spare both selves and the wolves from needless conflict. Alright, a little hunting trip. I'm down. There's uh, another person here. The raid on Mosswood by that band of Uruks has left our defenses in a terrible state, friend. The raid on Mosswood by that band of Uruks has left our defenses in a terrible state, friend. It, it wouldn't be too much to trouble. Uh, could I ask you to collect fallen branches from the bases of trees outside the town? With them, we will be able to patch up holes in our outer palisades and replace some of the wood during, burnt during the attack. I know it does not sound like a very important task, but it would truly be a big help to us. With so many good folk injured and slain during the raid, um, Ellery thinks we should focus on the small things we can do something about. I suppose I see her point. I think she's one of the main characters we talk to later. All right, so here's where we're going to start the chapter quest with Manel Deer. We'll hold on for that. We'll, let's grab a few other quests in the town here. Here's one of the. This is one of the main characters. She's like the main guard. Uh, um, 
Ellery. I was calling her Ellery. Maybe it's not that, but that's what I was calling her, so. Mossward is a quiet town. It has always been a quiet town. Mossward is a quiet town. It has always been a quiet town. I want you to understand something, Zolin. Something that may be hard to believe given the events of last night. Mossward is a quiet town. Oh, that's what she was saying. It has been and always been a quiet town. Winters can be hard if we don't fill the storehouse with sufficient food. But it has been many years since the folk of Mossward failed in their preparations. Mostly we've had to worry about the wolves of Howling Stone grow, growning, excuse me, Groaning over bold, growing over bold and straying too near the walls. But Oryx, Luce, and Swanfleet have changed all of that. Uh, what will we do if another war captain like Madthrug brings his band to Mossward? Could they remain hidden from our watchtower until they were nearly upon us as they did before? Beyond Howling Stone to the southeast, a hill rises above the plain. Can I ask you to go to that hill and look out into the distance? You may not see anything, but even that will be good for me to know. How's her voice again? Mossward is a quiet town. Quiet it town. has always been, been a quiet, quiet town. town. Her, her voice is weird because it's like such a low female voice. It's really hard to catch. Mossward is, is a quiet, quiet town. town. It's it has been, always been, been, been a quiet, a quiet town. town. Mossward is a quiet town. It has always been a quiet town. See, her voice is like slightly high in the back, but she has a very low voice for a female character. Interesting. All right, well, we'll accept the cast. Keep going. All right, moving on. Sorry, I'm over here trying to like perfect my voices all right here we go again these are more of i'm more imitating these voices i like it when they don't have voices and i can just make them up on the spot that's always fun too but uh it is nice that they have a little voice acting so i can kind of imitate get the quality and the, the way they say things and then try to read the entire paragraph with it that's the goal at least you are an adventurer my husband was once like you but he gave it up to settle down you are an adventurer my husband was once like you, but he gave it up to settle down and have a family, and never looked back. But I do have need of an adventurer today. If you're interested in helping me, Zolin, my husband has a lost a boot. Oh, it's not just any boot. It's his favorite. And it should be a shame to discard the remaining one just because his he misplaced its mate. He lost it walking out by the edge of the waterway to the north, and upon getting stuck in the mud, it just came free of his foot. If you can find it and bring it back to, to me, I would really appreciate it. Uh, yes, ma'am, we'll help you out. All right, I guess boots, I mean, shoes are very important, <laughs> that's for sure. Let's tell the lady that we brought everyone their lunches. We're back, we're back. Solomon Iron Shield brought everyone their lunches. Greetings, friend. Thanks for your helping, helping out. There are hard times for Mossward, but if we support each other, other, <coughs> but if we support each other, we'll get through it, right? Yes, that is the that's the spirit, my nice lady. All right, um, let's see here. Oh, cool. We've almost picked up all the quests. Let's pick this quest up. Could I speak with you a moment? Could I speak with you a moment? These poor creatures are still recovering from the shock of what happened the other day. We are really... Uh, they use a little... A little a need a little attention. But alas, I cannot pet all the animals at once. But such attention often helps to calm their nerves. Could you take a ti little time out of your day to res uh, reassure some of these critters? Sure. It's all right, little chicken. It's okay, little chicken. The chicken seems to be less anxious, but you tried your best. <laughs> no less anxious. It's all right, Mr. Cow. The cow is not only slightly disturbed instead of fully. <laughs> Wait, perturbed. He's only slightly perturbed now. There's your word of the day, perturbed. Okay, Mr. Goat, you all right? It's all right, Mr. Goat, I'll give you a pet. The nervous goat seems slightly less nervous. All right, there, I helped some of the animals. What can I do for you? Wasn't that lovely? They seem more at ease already. I find that taking care of critters is just as soothing for the critters as it is for the caretaker. Wouldn't you agree? Next, 
I could use some help of their droppings. Wait, wait, where are you going? <laughs> Run! <laughs> I love what that. What can I do for you? Where are you going? Oh, I'm not. No, I'm not doing droppings. I'm a, I'm a hero. I don't pick up poop. <laughs> All right, my friends. Well, there we go. First episode of Before the Shadow, a Lotro adventure with voiceovers. Uh, we'll continue in the next episode. Thank you so much to my Patreons for their support. Thanks, Scumly, for being a royal guard. It means a lot. We're growing. Very exciting. Um. Subscribe button's there. It's free to support the channel. Like the video. Awesome. If I earned it. Thank you. Thank you. And next episode will be up there for adventures. Lizard Tales over there with other voiceovers. The Lord of the Rings online as well. And uh, if you guys are curious, if you want to join our Discord, any level of Patreon gets you into Discord. We're building our community on there. And freely, if you're a subscriber, if you're on Crick Hollow and you want to join our kinship, just let me know during a live stream or one of our officers, and we will get you in to the Voice of the Rings kinship on Crick Hollow, okay? We have a good chunk of people here. We're trying to get more and more active players who want to play with us and start doing instances and raids in the future here. So you guys have a great and wonderful day in Middle Earth, and I'll see you on the next episodes of Voice of the Rings. Baruch Kazad, Kuzad, I menu. See ya.